Hey and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll refer to this video where I upgraded to version Venus OS, version 3.30, and I had some trouble on my test device Raspberry Pi 4. I did reset everything, so what I did was downloading the image with Venus OS 3.22, installed it, set everything up again, uh, similarly to what I had before. Uh, since it's my test device, this can happen all the time. And we are going and paying more attention now to updating with the large image on my Raspberry Pi 4. So that means when you look here, first of all, obviously Venus OS, that's what you're talking about. But we'll look at this device, which is Raspberry Pi 4 first, and if it works out for whatever reason, I don't know, maybe I did something something wrong, maybe I messed something up, maybe it was a problem that I updated with the normal version, normal image version, instead of the large. So we'll see if that's the case. So, relay is working, that's good. Uh, where's the other one? There we go. Here we do have the inverter. I'm gonna turn it off. Maybe you've heard it, but you can see it. Can turn it back on, and it's coming back up in a second again. So it's working, also my one wire is working here, as well as the Raspberry Pi temperature. So I have installed the setup helper here as well. So that means, We'll go into the settings this time. We'll look into firmware. You can see I still have the version 3.22 installed here. Start backup, nothing, as one of the users pointed out, because I did a change from normal image type to a large image type, there's no previous version stored. I did not do any research on that. Um, it sounded logical to me, but still I would have assumed that there is still the backup from the old version. So we'll see what's happening now. Um, this is a large image and official release, large image, as I said, press to check again, real quick, there we are. I did also want to show, oh, I want to show you, I did set up uh, the node red again, I just exported it to be <laughs> hopefully safe. So it means when I click here, you can hear it, you can see it. The battery voltage right now, that's from uh, the multiplus which is connected and I can Turn it off here as well, so you hear it. Turn it back online, it's place over there. So that means going in here. Good luck. See you later, I would say, right? Okay, so we did the update. I can see there is still in the installation happening since I finally have connected the display here as well. So you can see, I, I told you I will connect <laughs> a couple devices. So display is back up, relay board is back up, which you can find here the relay board, as well as the MultiPlus is connected. Video coming out pretty soon as well, multiple videos actually. So you can also see how to use the MultiPlus in combination with the Node-RED, just on a basic level, but there is way more to it. And... I think that's pretty much it at the moment. Uh, so you can see I connected a couple more things to my Raspberry Pi 4, my test device. So please feel free to uh, please feel free to subscribe to the channel, like the videos um, if you want to stay on top of what's coming up. And I have a couple batteries as well, which I will post uh, pretty soon as well. So quite interesting stuff coming, hopefully. So subscribe to the channel if you want to. Let me reconnect again. Nope, not yet. Looks like there's still stuff happening, or but looks like the setup helper is installed again. And it also looks like let me refresh. That is no red. <gasps> no red is still there. Oh yeah. Oh, the relay board works even. Oh cool, that looks really good. What I can see though is that it's blinking at the moment and standing at the last login. So it means, let's go to settings first, firmware. We can see the version 3.3.0 is installed, online updates, press to check. No new version available, so that's a really good sign. I'm happy to see that already. Uh, firmware, store backup, I can see also the old versions now here. That aligns with the, the comment that one user made, that's good. See pages. Yep, we have our Multiplus, Relay Board, the three relays still there. 
click here. It is on, so when I have it off, just turn it off. Good. Turn it back on. So here you can see that's what's happening. That is a good sign. So something must have been off. Maybe it was, and that's maybe something you have to be careful as well with, because I was switching between, what was that, between the better release and the uh, normal releases. I cannot say it with certainty, I don't know about it, that's just a guess. Or it must have had to do with switching from a normal, sorry, from large image to a normal image with no dread. Something got messed up during that process because the I used the same image actually. I didn't download a new one. I think I figured out or it, it overwrote the image which I downloaded already. So I used the same image in that case. No dread. Uh, let's see. We have both temperature sensors in here, so it should come back 23, 41 Celsius. So it should come back here as well at one point. So that shouldn't be a problem with the second temperature, or I might have to change it in the configuration. That's also possible. As long as it, as, it, as it works, so that's great. So let's see. Setup helper seems to be installed as well. I can change to dark mode when I go down all the way. So Venus has large features. It's activated since it's working. Package manager, we can see active packages. We have setup helper with GUI mods, shutdown monitor, GPO, and I have the package Venus OS temperature service installed as well, which I use through setup helper. That's good. So I'm happy to see that this works now. All right, so that's a way better approach here. So still take it with a grain of salt in case you have done some other stuff. Try to back up everything you can. Uh, ideally, you don't want to switch between normal, large, and better release at the same time. <laughs> Might be possible to mess something up. As mentioned, Victor is doing a really good job already with all the updates and whatnot. So I had never issues. That's the first time I had it. Uh, the only thing what I need to reapply on install, I'm pretty sure, and that's what we're doing now really quick, is the display. So and there are two ways, actually, you can do it. And let me try through the setup helper, actually. I don't know if that will work because I haven't done it in a while. I used to set it up manually. So let's see, we have, we do have Raspberry Pi display setup. So we'll use that one. We'll install it. We will go switch to active packages, and then we can see here Raspberry Pi display setup. So we'll see if that works. Currently it's downloading and should be installing now. If not, just click on install. On the command line, all right. That means I'll take a putty, putty, connect to the IP address. Use my root user. That means there we go. Okay, let's see. Uh, since setup help is installed, we need this command slash setup, I believe. Let's see if that works. And it looks like starting up script. Yeah. And we want to install it here as well. So I'll hit install. Choose a display from the list above. I have an HDMI. We'll try the automatically configuration. Uh, well, we'll see if I have to rotate it <laughs> or not. It's custom, it's not. I'll go with no at the moment. Do you want to calibrate a touch? Yes, I would like to. Download install. Yes, install. Looks like nothing's there anymore, so that's good. It's doing everything automatically. There we are. System's so going reboot. Okay, letting it reboot. We'll see what happens afterwards. So since I do have two mini HDMI outputs, I'll have to see which one's activated or not, because I think that's something which uh, you might have to plug into the other device. I can see it's booting already, but I was playing around with that already in the past, so I remember there was something going on. Looks like I have it plugged into the correct side. At least I see something. Doesn't mean that it will work. Alright, there's the calibration. 
I have to tap the display five times wherever that little dot is to calibrate the touch. I just did that and uh, now it's rebooting again. And it looks pretty good right now. Let's see, reconnect. I can see starting. It's back online. Oh yeah, that looks pretty neat. That looks good actually. Let me see if turning off. No, sorry. Let's see if turning on the multiplies will work and help. Here you can see the tapping on the display works pretty well. That's good. Took a while, but also MultiPlus is coming back online. So, yep, coming back online here. Nice, that's good. All right, and going back to menu, one tap, it works. Nice. So, display is working again. That's great. And that I don't know if that might be something you have to do as well. I had it configured manually. So that's most likely the reason why this happened, because it's not included in the setup helper. Now I have to display back connected, so something which will, for the next update, should stay persistent. Setup helper. Okay, let's let's continue with our Raspberry Pi 3, which is my production device usually. So here you can see it's a battery connected. And uh, let's go to menu. We do have connected, of course we have dark mode, but we have connected um, the smart chart and the MPPT charge charger here, as well as install the Raspberry Pi processor temperature. Uh, there's nothing else, no relays, anything like that. That's just not. Oh, it looks like I have maybe the package installed, but that's it. So let's go to settings really quick. Let's go to firmware. We can see version 3.22 installed. When I go to start backups, we can see I had installed the 3.21 and now it's the current running 3.22. Going to online updates, I have the large image, officially, official release, let me check for new version, and I'll just go ahead and install it. And we will be back when it's installed and see what's happening. Okay, let's see if we can reconnect. Since this device is somewhere else installed, not up here in my office, um, it means I don't see anything. I also don't have a display connected to it. Even if I wouldn't be able to see it, <laughs> I might uh, move multiple components into the production device and the Raspberry Pi 3, or maybe changing and using it differently. But here we are back, so we can see the setup help is not installed yet. And most likely this will happen now. So let's give it a couple more minutes or seconds. But I did see different issues slash different uh, responses some people said it worked um, some people said so some people said it worked with notes some people said it didn't work or it worked but they had to reinstall setup helper so there are different scenarios i feel like so but what i can see already we have installed version 3.30 let's just do a sanity check with the latest version in here, let's go back one more and go to down here and see we do have the package manager. Okay, so it's still working. Let's see active packages. We're not changing that yet. I'm just giving it a couple more minutes because it looks like it needs to refresh its database. I feel like it's done with the installation, otherwise it would have re installed or installed something else automatic github downloads looks like it doesn't continue for whatever reason let's see auto install let's click it again might be not patient enough let's see the shutdown monitor really quick i don't see anything interesting something's not working here at the moment Maybe we do have the issue what someone was saying that they had to reinstall setup helper. So let's do that. That means the easiest way in my opinion is using just a console. So I'll connect to my device, which means I'm using putty. Going back to menu really quick, we can see the propane tank came back. That's great to see. And be able to connect when typing the password correct. Here it says Raspberry Pi 2, but it's a 3, using the image of the 2 as Victron describes it. Let's go one more time, set up, or setting, sorry. 
let's see, package manager. Yeah, it looks like it somehow lost the connectivity to GitHub or something like that. So, what that means, so we will be using this command. Hit enter, and we'll do a reinstall. We'll see if that helps and works. Checking, oh, that looks, that looks good. Something's happening here. We'll let it do its magic and see if that helps. For me, that's the quickest way. I actually don't know if there's a different way to do that. I think I never had to do that, so we'll see. Yeah, there it is. Raspberry Pi um, processor temperature. His specs. That's good. Settings. Let's see what's next. The packages. We can see it's installed. So, yeah. Shutdown monitor is installed. The Venus OS temperature service is installed, which is actually the processor temperature in this case. GUI mods is going to be installed now. There we are. It's resetting or restart. No, sorry. It's restarting the GUI. <laughs> there we are. So I have to reconnect. It's back. No patience. And there we are. Nice. Last setting. Dark mode. Settings on top. Go to page really quick. Or oh, pages. Whenever it's ready. There we are. Um, I don't know if I had this set up. Maybe I didn't change it. We ha looked at this one. Propane tank was not displayed earlier, but now it is. It's good at visible. To release as well there. Which I don't know why. But let's go to settings. Package manager again. Active packages. Raspberry Pi GPIO setup. Uh, should not be installed. I don't know why I didn't ever delete it. But there is some configuration files. That's why it's there. Um, might be possible I'm connecting the other board there again as well. But that's good. It's there. It's back up online. It does show the smart chart. MPPT. No solar connected. Propane tank is also back. And temperature. Great. I'm happy it worked out um, in quotes flawless, but with some troubleshooting. So that's what you have to do when you have to reinstall Setup Helper after the update. And I think that's it. That's basically wrapping up this second video for upgrading to version 3.30 of Victron Venus OS. As you know, first attempt didn't work. Second time it worked, uh, but I had to do some changes on my test device. And I think um, I might have been messed it up myself, but it also means for you, as you see on the other device, on the production device, Raspberry Pi 3, depending on your configuration, there might be some troubleshooting, some post setup you have to do or installations you have to do uh, it might go flaw be totally flawlessly for you and just install and everything works everything works out of the box again but it might also be the case that this is happening to you like it did for me i hope you enjoyed the video questions please put it below also your comments if you have issues with this update as well or not keep me posted and i'll try to keep you posted thanks for watching Tschüss.